what are we gonna do for the homeless population for COVID in New York City? I am the EMT and I work with connecting homeless people to resources. So homeless pregnant mothers, um, homeless mothers who have children, at the beginning stages when when the government and and the leadership were saying it's still not even in New York yet. Members uh, of the shelter organizing, we started to plan like, what are we gonna do? What's that gonna look like? Are there any um, policies in place from the DHS? And to be honest, there wasn't much in place. When the first death of the homelessness uh, of a homeless person happened, I said, wow, this, this is exactly what I have feared. London, the BBC recently reported, has 300 homeless people housed in hotels in the, in the center of London, hotels that would otherwise be empty. It's keeping people employed, it's giving people homes. What's New York doing, as far as you know? There's no quarantine place. Right now, what I'm hearing from the front line, what I'm hearing from homeless people, is that they have to stay in these shelters. For example, I know of a, of a homeless lady living in a domestic violence shelter who tested positive and she's still within the shelter. And remember, these people don't have proper protective gears. None of these homeless people. They don't have hand sanitizer like other people do. They don't have the privilege to Clorox, to cleaning supplies. They don't have food. We have been working around the clock to get people food that and and even that has its limitations so for example um with domestic violence shelters you can't disclose where you, where you're living so if i wanted to help out that lady i can't deliver i can't send groceries to them which is sad so she will have to go through other people to go outside to the supermarket possibly get exposed there as well to get the food when the state either doesn't or won't, or you don't want it to be involved and in addressing your challenges. Um, what do you do? What are homeless people doing? People that are unhomed? What we're seeing now that we're also using is mutual aid. Who needs to help, who needs to support, and who's willing to give it? You know, and I think a lot of communities have dealt with that because we have lived through traumas people of color has lived through traumas for centuries you know they they they've known and we've known that the government doesn't come for us but i think now we're seeing it moving to other um races and genders and so forth and people are starting to see wow we need to really rely on each other as we come out of this will we do more than recover what will it take Right now, we have a wonderful opportunity to redesign the system and really take into consideration the most vulnerable, but we really have to show up. I think it really depends on the people who are in the front lines, the people who are leading the mutual aids and these support, supportive organizations. I think it's really going to depend on them keeping the momentum after the crisis and showing this is what we did with the crisis and what we need to continue doing long after. Caring for the most vulnerable, 